Hi everyone. I'm uh, just in the. That's okay. In the passenger seat. This is a UK car, so I'm in the uh, in the um, left side as you look forward. Um, I'm looking at this drawer here, and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to turn this into a mobile phone holder. Um, it's got a uh, rubber mat in it, uh, which kind of sits in there like that. That's a nice, um, useful guide because. I can take that out and go to the workshop and I can create something that sits in this that will suit my um, iPhone. So this is an iPhone 14. There's a lot of iPhones that are the same size. And as you can see, if I place that on there, slightly diagonally, it actually fits within the size. So if I pop that back in there, you can see that that actually would be angled towards the driver, which is great. It can't fit fully square, so it's gotta be at an angle to fit. Uh, the ends will stop it falling out, so as long as it sits down uh, at least a little bit, it won't slide off the side, which is great. Um, so we need something that's going to, it'll sit on, um, something that it can lean against, and something to stop the front from kicking forward. Now in this car, if you accelerate really fast, it might just fly out. So um, it's either got to be designed to lean back a lot, or I don't know, maybe uh, it'll be a tight fit. I don't know, we'll see. Um, see what I come up with and we'll road test it. But um, yeah, happy days, keep watching. Oh, critical measurement before I go to the workshop. This in here, which you can't really see. Uh, this is oh, about uh, 20, no, about 19, about three quarters of an inch. 19 millimeters to the to the top and the reason that's important is because whatever I put in here has to go underneath when it's sitting in there so it can't be any more than about 19 millimeters high right okay we've got the uh, the mat from the tray that uh, sits in the, the front sort of high level drawer in the um, front of the dashboard of the um, DSLK um, what I've done is I've uh, found a block of uh, wood. It's actually a, it's one of these that I've made for another project. Um, it's slightly too big. I've trimmed it down, and now it uh, it's almost sitting in in there. Not quite, but uh, I have to take a bit off the the bottom corners. But it's close enough in the length. I've cut the width and the off cut from the width. You can probably see I've marked out on here uh, a couple of lines, and I've drilled a couple of holes. This was a hole that is going to be covered, that just happened to be in it anyway. Um, and I'm going to put this onto here between these lines, and I'll actually glue it in place with a bit of um, adhesive. And the idea with this, and I, there's going to be another one, but the idea with this is it all sits in the tray. Pop it in the tray, I'll have that there. <coughs> This is an iPhone 14. Uh, it's the standard size for most of the uh, iPhone range now. And with a small case on it, it's slightly longer, of course. But at this angle, which should point towards the driver, it's actually within the width of the tray. Uh, it'll overhang the edge of the tray so we can plug things in it to charge it if we need to. But what I really need now is a block to go on the back just to hold this at this sort of angle. Now, if you accelerate really hard, potentially it'll fall forward, so it needs to tip back enough to try and prevent that. So I'm going to go for something like this. This is probably about a, I don't know, a, it's more than 45 degrees. It's probably sort of 50, 55 degrees, something like that. But I, what I'll do is I'll get a block and I'll show it, see if we can get something to be about right. A couple of little pilot holes in. <laughs> just to, for some screws just to pull it tight while the glue goes off okay some glue I've just deburred the edge of these holes so that they, uh, they won't, won't cause it to rise up when it's pulled in let's get some just a small amount of wood glue on this okay Remember, 
which way around this was. That's the underside. Get it the right way up. Very important. Move that there. Let's see if we can wind these through. These are screws that I cut down a little bit just to try and make them the right length. They might be a bit trickier to get in, but I'll, we'll have a go. Good, that's winding in nicely. Okay. Nothing too tight on there. Should just pull. pull that in. It's causing a little bit of splitting on there, so I'm going to just pop that out. Let me just take it. Take a little bit off. As I said, this is just about holding the two pieces together while the glue goes off. The glue will hold it, or adhesive, as my teacher would say. The adhesive will hold it once it's tried. Good. That's nice. A little bit of excess there. Right, on to the next one. Okay, now you probably remember when we looked in the car, we had a 19 millimeter rule. And when you look at this, you can see that actually it's about 19 millimeters. So I really can't make this any deeper. So the other piece that needs to go behind this really needs to be the same height. And it needs to be quite tight so that it doesn't uh, fall over. It's got to be pretty accurate, this. Um, I think what I'm going to do, because this, this um, case has a bit of a bulge on it, so if I, I might aim for the centre part and just put a narrower one there and see how we go with that. I'll mark this on here, just a bit of a distance away. Give myself a guide to go to. There we go. So I'm just drawing a line out on here. Hmm, this is uh, a little bit experimental, but we'll see how we go. Uh, we'll see if I can find another bit of material. There's another another scrap one. I'm just gonna take a piece of uh, take a piece of this. It can be a bit of a wider piece. Might make the screen it in a bit easier. Come back in a moment. Okay, so <coughs> my original piece. I've got a, a piece that I've just cut off. I'm gonna clean this up a bit. It's going to go somewhere here. Um, one way around, there's no obstruction because this is up here, and then the other way around, it's down the bottom, so it will interfere. So if I put it round, turn you that way. So this way, it's leaning back. This needs to be away from this, like so. If I hold that there, like so, you can kind of see the angle. Little angle there, and obviously if I move, if I move this, you can see the angle changes. So I'm going to decide on the angle that I want. Probably be about there. Um, if it's the other way around, it won't interfere, and it can just go in there like so because this is now uppermost. So that's good. So I think we're looking at about there. about there and by sheer luck this uh, happens to fit within the space I'll move it along a bit there that's pretty good the uh, falling forward risk is is there but you know we can always catch it and put it back in um, I'm just going to mark this the edges of this so I know where I'm going with it 
And then what I'll do is I'll uh, do the drilling and the piloting again. First things first, a bit of a clean up. Just take the edges off. I've done this with all the components, just to try and uh, make, <coughs> make it a bit neater. It's MDF, this stuff, it's um, nothing special about it. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Right, this time I've rough marked a couple of places I want to attach it. This is clamping it in the place where I want it to be. I've still got my line down the back there. So I'm just going to drill these and uh, see if I can, uh, well, see if I can not go through. Let's see if I was being really clever with this. <coughs> I suppose I could actually take it. To a point where we know it won't go through. Now I just need to drill uh, <coughs> uh, drill these so that they're clearance holes with the recesses so that the screws disappear. So I'll just uh, set them. Ooh, I'll do a little bit of a, a little clean up on these so that there's nothing sticking out. Same on the back. Take off the burrs. Turn on the burrs. Ready to go. <coughs> and uh, we then get these two pieces together. I did actually mark a small arrow on this facing forward. There it is. Um, so I know that this goes on this way around in position just about there. Um, so I'm going to get some screws to the right length, I'm going to put some glue on it and then screw it down. Theoretically, these screws will line up. <laughs> They're just moving around a bit. I'm going into a hole. Now I'm going into a hole. <coughs> Let's just make sure that these work as intended. So I'm just going to carry on tightening these. Until they pull in, and you can see the, the adhesives there, it's nice and tight. And the same with this one. Nice and tight. So there we have it. That should fit in and go into the car. Um, let's just clear away some...
<coughs> that's that. Here's my phone. My phone should sit on there, which it does. That's pretty cool. It goes that way. Just as cool. Brings back the same amount both ways. It should, <coughs> now that I've taken a bit off these corners because it was actually slightly too long, should go in there. And that then fits in there. Cool. That's looking pretty awesome. Now, most people know that I'm a bit <coughs> well, mad as a box of frogs. What I'm going to do is uh, use Mercedes blue. This stuff matches the colour of the car outside. I'm just going to spray some on it. I'm sure it'll take. It's a DIY job. This is a prototype. See what you think. Wow. Love this paint. A bit of a bit of a bump coming up there. Went a bit uh, a bit too far with my screws. Normally with painting, you do lots of layers, but I'm trying to do a quick job here, so I'm not so bothered. Okay, here's the moment of truth. This is the uh, the drawer, and here we have the new phone tray. There we go. Which fits? Aha. Theoretically, if I place this iPhone 14 in it. It then sits like that. So from the driver's position, that's the uh, that's the phone. That's pretty cool. And um, yeah, I, I guess yeah, you, know, you can turn it around, and there it is. Wicked. So there we go. That's um. Well, I, I guess that's it, really. That's um, my uh, my attempt at making a phone holder for uh, the R170. I hope that was useful. Um, if it was, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Make yourself one. Um, I'm going to test drive it and um, see how we go. Maybe I'll um, maybe I'll tag that on the end of the video. Okay, little road test. Let's, uh... Pull that out, Let's fire up the car, put that in my trusty phone holder. See how we go. And the air conditioning was fixed today, so that's a nice loud air conditioning. That's as fast as you can go with this one. Oh well, uh, that, that proves the, uh, the 
the limitations to this. But, uh, but there we go. Thank you for watching, guys. Appreciate it.